Hi, everybody. So, continuing to work on the fly LED nav strobes for the wings. In the last video, we uh, I kind of gave a little intro and had uh, kind of worked on all of the sizes of the boards and have trimmed those down. Uh, I started working and putting on the white strobes, as you see on that board in front of you. So there's uh, the big three strobes in the middle. Those are all white strobes. And then the colored strobes go around the edge. And then I disappear. So we're doing these from home. Well, I'm doing part of these from home. Uh, I finish up the very last piece over back at the hangar, but... So on the back of the colored strobes, you'll also apply a little bit of that thermal compound. So uh, just to my right, you'll see a little syringe. Uh, that holds the uh, compound in that you kind of just smear around. All you need is a little, a little bit of it. So once the uh, strobes are in place, now you need to put the resistors in. Now this is a this is a 12 volt system, and uh, as 12 volts surge into these boards, it's got to kind of uh, shunt that down uh, a little bit so that it doesn't get complete uh, completely fried. So there's three uh, resistors uh, in the center. Each one of those is for one of the big white strobes, and then each strip of the strobes around the side gets a smaller resistor which is color specific very important that it is color specific I think red is 3.3 uh, ohms of resistance and I think the green was 3.9 or the other way around So once you put the resistors in, then all you need to do is put the four prong, oh, there's a kitty playing with, uh, with the way. Uh, once you put the resistors in, then you can go ahead and put the terminal. So there's terminal on each one and uh, so that they connect. And then the one of the, the main terminal or the main board for each wing has a separate terminal, which goes out and plugs uh, eventually back into the controller unit. So here I'm uh, test. So here I've, I've got a 12 volt battery charger, uh, phone charger, and an old uh, lamp cord, um, and I'm just splicing up some alligator clips so that we can I can use that as kind of a little test delivery for 12 volts. And in a second, you will see some extremely bright LEDs. Because you want to test each board, make sure it, it works after you put everything together. So if you don't put the LEDs in the proper orientation with the plus and minus in the correct direction, uh, you, you won't see any light at all. There you saw the white and the green flashing. I mean, these things are bright. So I finished with one set of boards, and now I'm actually, um, I hadn't actually corrected, well, I say corrected, I hadn't uh, filed down the right wings yet. So I thought uh, I couldn't get it out. I couldn't get out to the hangar that day. So you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do the control board. And you know, I just want to give a, uh, a shout out to Paul at Fly LEDs. This this really is a great kit. Uh, very simple. The boards are very well labeled. You know exactly where all the resistors go. Uh, you know exactly which ones go in which place. Uh, the control board is great because you get all these different options of do you want wigwag, do you want uh, 40 or 60 strobes per minute, 45 to 60, sorry. Uh, do you want it to bounce back and forth? Um, and so it's got uh, four different uh, uh, modes that you can play around with for hours. And the, the board itself actually has a, has, a, has a test light for each one of your strobe sets. 
So you've got uh, light for the right, light for the left, it's red and green, and then a white one to represent the tail light, which I technically haven't bought yet, but I will be purchasing it from, from Fly LEDs. They do a great LED backstrobe that goes in the back of your rudder, uh, which I believe is only $99 US, which is you know, so much less expensive than uh, going with a, a sun tail or some other TSO thing. Anyway, once you're done with uh, putting everything on, then I go ahead and I do a little quick testing, which you'll see here in just a second. I'll turn the lights off so we can see it. Or actually, I think it just gets darker so you can see it. Anyway, uh, we're going to finish all of this up in the next video, uh, which will proceed at the hangar. Here we go. So I've slowed this down a little bit so we can see... Yep, there's the lights, and you'll see the big flash in a second. So, anyway, see you soon.